Hello. 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 I love Brazil. I wish I was there. Sorry. I've been twice to Brazil with my band, Molotov Jukebox. I went to Rio and I love Rio and Bahia. Bahia is fantastic. <laughs> Bahia is amazing. Belo Horizonte is fantastic as well. I'm very jealous. And what about Sao Paulo? Ah, Sao Paulo is awesome, but we only spent one night there. I played in um in the big club. What's it called? SGP. So dressing, dressing, dressing. Yeah. We played there, well, I was only there for a few hours, it's the only place to spend a little time. It's a shame. I, I, really want, I really wanted to come this year for the football and play there. But I think they want only Brazilian musicians, understandably. So, next year. Actually, uh, Isaac, in this season, Bram discovers uh, what he really is, right? He's a warg. Um, how does it affect the character uh, in, this, in this season? Um, well, yes. Has oh, over the past few seasons really, you know, actually started to explore this whole theme of, of the supernatural, um, and he's he's only really actually sort of fully exploring it this season with the with the introdu with the introduction of uh, Josen, who you know we're not entirely sure who he is, whether he's some kind of shady you know strange guy or you know the one sort of holy guru, um, and he comes along and he begins to to mentor Bran as to as to, you know, um, how to control these strange dreams and what they actually mean and what he is. Um, and it definitely becomes an integral, sorry, an integral part of um, Bran's storyline throughout the next couple of seasons. Question goes for Isaac. Uh, did your parents know where you were going to when you signed for the series? Um, I don't think so. Uh, well, we kind of... <laughs> I remember we, we did it and we, we, I got the role and we, we shot the first day. And it rained non-stop, sort of relentlessly in this muddy forest, and we were thinking, what is happening? Where are we? What have we signed six years away to? <laughs> um, but as it's evolved, I couldn't think of anything I'd rather sign six, way six years away to. It's been such an experience mm. and such a, you know, a cracking you know, laugh with everybody. And in the end of season three, Bran and Osha go separate ways. How Ooh. was it like to to do the scene where they say good when they say, they say goodbye it's very sad i you know and and the little boy art you know it was like that that scene was a very big yeah. scene for him and i thought he did it very well uh, and he had so much emotion and we did feel it you know it's like wow we're splitting from this group that we've been together for for, for three four years now you know yeah. it's it's emotional um I, lo i love the books i read all of them in fact on a beach in bahia um, the first, I'm not joking. I, I got that job, and then we Molotov Jukebox went on tour of Bahia, and oh, it was amazing. And I took all of them in my accordion case, and I read all of them. Um, and I really like the way that they have they have adapted it because if if they kept adding all this the new characters from the books, everyone would lose interest. You know, it's it's good that they have changed it a little bit, and I like how they've done it. I think they've done it a superb job. Uh, Natalia, you are part of a big movie series, Harry Potter, and um, it, now you are part of another big series, uh, Game of Thrones. I want to know if in the streets you are recognized more as Stokes or Osha, and which one you prefer? And um, I recognize more as Osha, really? definitely. Yeah. yeah, 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 much more. Much, like, but but it, I usually get recognized as Osha when I'm wearing my fur coat. So on Sundays, on a cold Sunday, I get recognized. Also, Isaac, you didn't read the book, so uh, how do you feel about spoilers? That's very serious here. I quite like them. I quite like to know what. You know, I, I've, I've skipped to the end of quite a lot of uh, different series. I just Googled what happens um, and then continued to watch them, knowing, you know, the ultimate fate. Um, but I think... For Bran, it's actually quite different because some people don't read the books because they they think that um you know it, it it might change the way they play the character. The character wouldn't know what happens. But for Bran, because he's got all this this green seeing and warging and whatnot, he, you never know if he if he does actually you know know somewhat what's gonna. Happen. I would like to know what's your favorite scene from third season. For me, it's the skinning rabbits. <laughs> How was that? It was great. I smelt very bad and my hands were disgusting. But I loved ringing up my boyfriend and he was like, you know, he'd had a normal day. And I was like, I've skinned 40 animals today. And I thought, that's interesting, very strange. 
I, I liked getting to do a dream sequence with um with Rob and, and uh, John again because we, we hadn't we hadn't been in 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 a, the same scene since the very very beginning since the very first episode you know all together and it was like yeah it was like deja vu we were we were back we were back again you know because because we see each other offset but it's a very different atmosphere on an offset you know because when you're on there you, you've got your costumes it's it's like it, it was like you know the very first episode again hi guys my name is Elena. I write for a Game of Thrones fan website called Game of Thrones Bay. And I like to ask you if you guys had any weird experiences with Game of Thrones fans in the past <laughs> years. <laughs> I've got a good one. Yeah, I've got I've got one crazy fan, but she's been following me since Harry Potter, and now she's also following a band, and and she's very scary. She's very small. I mean. She's scary but she's got like cross eyes and she's a hunchback and she looks like your stereotype of what a, a stalker is and she's very scary she's the only one everyone else is amazing but she's very she scares the band and they're all big men so she's yeah she's special <laughs> <laughs> quite as uh, as interesting as that, but uh, quite a lot of people will pick me up when you know we'll do we'll do like, the Atman thing going on. Uh, is there uh, is any there other actor of the series that you you both would like to have a scene with? A scene with. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to think what my cat because the thing is I'd love to do a scene with 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 um Peter Dinklage but my character wouldn't really that wouldn't I don't know what would happen with them. they probably wouldn't talk to each other at all so I'm trying to think maybe Mance Raider I'd like to quite to see would like see what I would you know would I fancy him I wouldn't mind uh, seeing Jamie Lannister and Cersei again picking their brains as to why I fell out of a window. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what how was to watch the Red Wedding. I loved it. <laughs> Una, 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 what's her, what's her character name? Lisa. Lisa. I, I lo amazing. She was sending me mad pictures of just her legs covered in blood. I thought she'd give birth. I didn't know what had happened. I was. I loved. I think it's fantastic. I like the fact that everything changes. You know, we all kind of knew that it was coming at some point. Um, especially you know David and Dan, who, who who always knew this moment was was inevitable. But for me, the sad thing was that we were losing cast members who'd been there from the very, very start, who we'd sort of experienced this insane journey with, um, you know, because a lot of the, the, you know, we, we hadn't, none of us had really done much, um, and we'd all sort of grown up, you know, together, because if you look at, you know, uh, you know Richard as well, he, he completely changed by the time it was, was the, the, the third season. And to lose them, the atmosphere, you know, everything changes. We've, we've lost to the, the hearts of the, yeah. the show. <laughs> Thank you. Bye, Brazil! Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.